your lips right now. The fruit of your lips. Open up your mouth right now. Uh, you're on holy ground. Come on, come on, come on. Press on in. Press on in. I wish I had somebody that would help me press. Press. Uh, come on, let's go into the holies of holies. Come on, let's minister to it right now. God, we worship your name today. God, we give you glory and honor. Hallelujah, God. There is none like you. There's none like you. I wish I just had a few folks that would open up their mouths and just begin to bless him. Come on, give him the fruit of your lips. Uh, don't tell him about your problems. Don't tell him about your trouble. Just begin to minister to our God. Come on, open up your mouth, everybody. Open up your mouth. Lift up those hands. Lift up those hands. Come on, begin to minister to him. Minister to him. Tell him, God, you're God. You're the only God. You're the only true God. You're all together lovely. You're all together wonderful. There is none like you, God. I blow kisses to you. I want to embrace you. I want to show you how much I love you. Come on, for about 30 more seconds. Come on, bless you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. What if you call me and don't feel me near you? Will you still trust me? What if I tell you to let go of the very thing that you think you have to hold? Will you trust me? Yes. I'll trust you, Lord. What if it costs my life? Yes. I'll trust you, Lord. What if I lose the very thing I love so dear? Yes. Somebody say, yes, I'll trust you, Lord. Somebody say, yes. Come on, put your hands up and say, yes, I'll trust you. I'll, I'll trust you. I'll trust you. Yeah. Ah, I can hear Jesus singing. He says this.
everyone sorry about that good evening everyone well my name is Sakoni Scott and I'm the president of the Pine Forge Academy Alumni Association and I'm so excited to come all the way down from Charlotte to be with you all today the reason why today means so much to me is because I went first through eighth to GAAA so I have a warm place in my heart for GAAA and then I went on to Pine Forge Academy where I finished off. So I love both institutions and I'm here to introduce two wonderful uh, choirs as they sing tonight and warm our hearts. Uh, I've been around the country and I've heard many choirs, even college choirs sing, and I don't think either can hold a candle to the two institutions that we're going to hear this evening and their high school students. So I'm really excited about that. And I want to welcome every one of you here. We're going to start off with the GAAA Concert Choir. And I'll let uh, Mr. Luther Washington come in his own way and then we'll transition to uh, Mr. Jared Rosenboro and he will come in his own way. Why don't we bow our heads for a moment for prayer? Our Father in heaven, we're thankful that we can come and worship uh, in this way in this, uh, on this your Sabbath day. We ask that you would uh, be with the young people as they uh, sing. May angels come down and be with them, waft their wings, or it won't just be us hearing a choir sing, but may we worship with you in both spirit and in truth. We thank you for this opportunity in Jesus' name. Amen.
We'll sing a hallelujah. We'll sing a glory, 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 hallelujah. We'll sing a glory, sing a glory to a hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. We'll cry hosanna. We'll shout his praise. So right now we're going to ask Pine Forge if they would come up and join us for this, these next two selections as we'll sing uh, two mass selections together. Um, bless you all with that. Thanks.
Uh, this next election that we're going to do together, I'll speak real quick about it. If there was anyone who was uh, attended Pine Forge Academy from 1982 to 1990, you had the privilege of being called a cherub. Um, and it was under the direction of an angel herself, Miss Gwen Foster. Um, and she was very revolutionary in what she did. Um, we love the Hawkins now in church, um, but that was not always so. And uh, she endeavored to introduce and endeavored to um, just give us as Adventists uh, just a taste of music from all over. And so this next piece is one that uh, she was coined for bringing into the music repertoire at Pine Forge Academy. Um, and so we just want to honor uh, as both uh, myself and Mr. Washington have benefited from her tutelage in some way, shape, fashion, or form. Uh, we just want to honor the legacy that is Gwen Foster. Um, and so this selection is Lord Give Us Time. Um, our, our soloists are Miss Dahlia Davidson and Danielle Brewer.
Good evening to you, Brian. Oh, mercy. Oh, my God. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me hold on. Let me hold on. Good evening to you, Brian. Oh, that's so much more welcoming. I, I, I thought I was home for a moment, uh, but you, you, you had me fooled for just a little bit. It's good to see you, Brian. Um. You all are no stranger to these people behind me. You all mind if we just worship for a real quick moment? Is that all right? Can we just worship in this house for a little bit?
Good evening, everyone. I just got volunteered to um, introduce uh, a school from the River Manitani, a place where I graduated from in 1990, 30 years ago. Um, I don't think they need that much introduction, but they are under the um, directorship of your own <clears throat> Mr. Roseboro, Jared Roseboro. By the way, my name is Marcus Harrison. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I introduced to some and, um, and uh, others, Palm Forge Academy Choir. They were so good with what they did. They practiced their music. They worked hard. Everything. My brothers were a part of the choir last year, and I enjoyed it every single time I heard the choir. They were so good with what they did. They practiced their music. They worked hard. Everything around it just like it felt like I wanted to be a part of it. My academic life is really stressful, so I enjoy choir because it's in the middle of my day, and I can just sit down and sing the music that I like to sing and just do the things that I love. I know that I have touched somebody's heart or I know that they were going through something and the voice of the choir or like the, the, the words of the song that we have sung just let, just touch them and let them know that God is on their side. But just simply watching like body language and when you see people's tears flow over something that you would deem simple. That is where you really understand that what you're doing is bigger than yourself. Music actually keeps me sane throughout all of the hectic chaos that happens at school or in the dorm or with all the extracurricular activities that I'm involved in. Uh, whenever I'm sad, whenever I'm upset, whenever I'm tired, I listen to music or I sing to myself or I play the piano. I'm able to, it's able to uplift my spirits and make me feel better. Choir is honestly my favorite part of the day. Choir, you can say choir is one of the main factors that has put in my life to use me. A place where you can learn and grow through music. It's not just singing a song, we're learning and we're experiencing the Holy Spirit. It's the main thing that has brought me closer to God over these four years. It has taught me that ministry does not start in the church. We've had several experiences where we're singing on the side of the road or in the middle of a golden corral. And I can just think back to the different times on some of our choir trips where I think it was simply because God knew what our end goal was that he spared our lives.
you so much. Um, that was a piece entitled The Road Home. Um, and what it had to do with, or a lot of the context of that song, um, all of us in some point in life have felt or been lost. And um, at the beginning of the song, there is a pilgrim who is traveling who cannot find their way. And by the end of the song, there is someone to guide them to the way home. How many of you all know who that everlasting guide is? Amen. So this next selection that we're going to do for you all um, is a piece arranged, I would say, by a man by the name of Randall Thompson. He takes from the scripture uh, at the, the last part of 2 Samuel, um, and what it has to do with are the last words that David gives to his son Solomon as he is about to rule. Um, and he uh, exclaims to him that he that ruleth over men must be just. And so um, the, the arranger takes and paints all of these words and these pictures uh, for you, the listener, to be able to see just exactly what David is trying to communicate to Solomon. This is the last words of David.
Now we'll do a little bit of a lively Negro spiritual for you all. This is John Saw the Number. John saw the number. John saw the number. For this next piece, I'm going to uh, call down one of our student accompanists, Mr. Warren Brady. If you yeah. Yeah. This particular piece, um, taken from the text in Matthew. Um, soon as how many of you all are tired right now? Okay. So we are, we're running off of about two hours of sleep. Um, it has, you know, things happen. It's been a, a Holy Spirit field, but also very grueling uh, tour that we have been on. Um, and so we all know the experience of being tired. Anybody else know about being tired? Yeah. So this song taken from the, the book of Matthew where Jesus says to the congregation and his disciples, Come to me, all ye that are tired and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light.
So this next song, um, I would dare say that it's one of my, my favorite to perform. Um, it's actually the next three songs that uh, we've kind of been working on this year. Uh, this next song is what is known as a war song. I'll say that one more time. It is a war song. What kind of song? War. All right. And this uh, song simply ascribes some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will trust in the name of our God. Chariots, 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 we will shout, shout for joy when you are victorious. We will lift up, we will lift up banners in the name of God. Chariots, 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 So this next song, I always have to do a little bit of a faith check before I sing it. So we kind of guess we get looks every now and again when we do this piece. Um, the Word of God says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in. Also, the prophet Jeremiah, he says that um, your mercies are new every the psalmist says, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the, of the same sun, that the Lord is worthy to be praised. Um, there is, there's an old Adventist song, Russell, if you could play this clap. A song that says, a better day after a while, there will be, you all know this song? sound lovely. It's too bad we're not actually singing that song. But it's okay. It's all right. You sound beautiful. But we do believe that a better day is coming. Amen. Uh, I had a, there was a, a, still a favorite movie of mine that came out in, I want to say it was 1974, um, that spoke about the struggles of African Americans. Um, 
living up in, uh, in New York. It was a movie called Crooklyn. Y'all remember that movie? Anybody know and remember that movie? Okay. So there was a song off of that, you know what, I'll just, I'm gonna let these young people just minister for you. Y'all all right? My, my fellow Adventists, y'all all right? Now, come on, do we believe that there's going to be a better day after a while? My Bible also tells me that dance is an appropriate form of praise for my Savior. I'm not going to, I ain't going to stay on that soapbox too long. I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and move away from that. I see people looking at me funny. I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. All right. Um, this, next, this next selection that we want to do for you, um, an Adventist composer, it's actually his sister, I believe. Uh, I believe she's still a member here. Um, he was just inducted into the Alabama Hall of Fame. Um, this is none other than Mervyn Warren. Um, and, you know, People very little, uh, they, they know about his work with orchestration and movies and um, the artists that he's worked with, um, but very seldom do we get a taste of his ability in writing choral arrangements. Um, and this one uh, in particular is one uh, that's not necessarily so popular, um, but one that is just beautiful nonetheless. Um, and it simply states, taken from Psalms, uh, that with my whole heart I have sought thee. Oh. 
So Pine Forge is always, or has always been known for its musical prowess, um, but there are other artistries amongst us that uh, we wanna begin to highlight um, and, and uh, just begin to expose. Um, I'm going to ask this as a senior, Miss Afina Clare, if she would come forward and present to you in her own way. All right, good evening, church. <laughs> My name is Afina Claire, and I will be presenting to you guys a piece that I wrote entitled Self Image. I spent hours 
on my Instagram, imagining what it would be like if I looked like her. Drowning in my own jealousy, I found myself comparing my many attributes with the person through my screen. I mean, I tried to mimic her style. The way she poses in hopes that it will boost my self-esteem. In fact, I idolized her as a queen. That it became so engraved in my daily routine, not only to be seen, but to look like someone who only looks good in magazines. Yes, I became a walking machine. Only moving according to what's been drilled and programmed into me, rather than moving according to what God made me to be, see, even at the age of 17. It's been so mainstream to look a certain way, whether that means me getting vaccines in order to make my body look neat, clean, and lean, but I couldn't help it. I was insecure. I went around asking people, do you think I'm pretty? Just because I wasn't sure. Being closed-minded, I seeked validations from others. My mind was premature. If they ever said insecurity was a drug, I was a fiend, I was addicted, but the compliments were my temporary cure. Self-worth. In search of finding themselves, I've seen them lose themselves. Impersonating someone who doesn't even know what to do with themselves. On the other hand, they try to fit in with these expensive name brands. Tommy Hilfiger, Versace, but get mad when their names don't brand as popular. But in case you forgot, let me remind you, we serve a God who protects at all times, front, left, and behind you. He sends down new blessings every morning, bright and early like the morning dew. And I need not tell him how my day went because lucky you, he already knew he hears your cries and sends down legions of angels down to your rescue. He'll spot your indifferences. And because he cares for you, he'll accept you. Yes, he pierced his hands with the screw to signify that he loves you. And those circles in his palms are the ring. On the cross is where we said our I do's, mind you, he spoke life into existence and within six days everything was made new. He then got on his hands and knees just to sculpt and create you a perfect being in his eyes who was designed to be a light. You are his greatest work and nothing else can subdue so. How can we, how can we be created in the image of this supernatural being, yet still we hate ourselves and try to copy the next human being. And for the time being, if you allow me to continue speaking, may I dare say that any sight created from God is a sight worth seeing. Thank you. So now we're going to have three other uh, senior ladies by the name of Shade Forrester, Jaden Stokes, and Grace Williamson, who are going to come in their own way.
So we want to bring our first half to a close with, uh, with this particular selection. Um, but I, I, I never fail to say this for those who think that they would sit at the first half and say, okay, that was wonderful. I've seen the best. I assure you that the best is yet to come. Um, this particular song, uh, one of our favorites as an ensemble, um, an arranger by the name of Tom Fetke lived out in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And they had built this magnificent church out in Colorado Springs. And one day, uh, the church, or half of the church, burned to the ground. And uh, there were these instruments that he had seen that the church had uh, done much work and spent much money on. Um, and he said that he saw them there burned to a crisp. And rather than complaining, rather than uh, being angry with God, he said, the only words that came to mind is, what is man that thou art mindful of him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. And this song simply says that we worship the majesty and glory of such an awesome creator.
Good evening, everyone. Our, our deacons are coming to lift the offering this evening. And as they come, I want to share just a few things with you about the school that I love. So I'm going to let them come first and pray, and then we'll chat just a little bit. All right. Let's bow our heads together. Father, we thank you for the gifts that you have given your children. We thank you for the gifts that you've given your people. And as we worship together in offering, we ask that you bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. I just want to say a few things about Pine Forge. But before I do that, there are lots of people that I must recognize. Parents of current Pine Forge students, if you're in the house, can you stand for me? Because we do have a couple I've seen. There they are. There we are. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles. I have to get them all in. Everybody. We thank you so much for the sacrifice that you are already making. We also have some former teachers in the house. Uh, former Pine Forge Academy teachers, if you will stand, please, and wave for us. You have sacrificed. We thank you so much. Hey, I see Mr. Campbell back there, former headmaster, sir. I am so excited to bring you greetings from our current administrative staff at Pine Forge Academy. Your, your own, before he slips out, uh, Mr. Eldridge Edgecombe, our business manager, Mr. Edgecombe, our current principal, Mr. H. Clifford Reynolds, and our vice principal, Mr. Chris Fielder, who has been with us for 34 plus years. We are blessed to still have him on staff, and it is just wonderful for me, especially as uh, the Dean of Instruction, to be able to work with my former history teacher. That is exciting for me. He enjoys taking me on basketball trips and forcing me to coach the girls' basketball team. I told him, you can't retire and leave me these young people. You have to stay around. So it's a blessing to be able to share our greetings with you. Pine Forge this year is doing wonderful things. The Lord is continuing to bless us, and we are so grateful for what he's done. We have 147 students this year at Pine Forge. God is good. God is good. Um, we have a, a senior class of a whopping 50. Yeah, that's a lot of young people. So that means that we need at least 100 to replace what we're losing. But we are grateful for what God has done. This year, the young people at Pine Forge have received lots of blessings, um, not just in um, new teachers and new principals and, and, and curriculum and, and, the, and the like, but they have been able to minister all over the Delaware Valley, and they're really excited about being able to come on their Southern tour. The Creative Arts group, have any of you, were any of you in Creative Arts? I know it happened, there we go, okay. We have a bubbling group of Creative Arts students who are writing their own plays and performing them. We have expanded our program. We have a chess club that's coming off to second place in their division. The debate club finished uh, as champions this year. Um, the ladies basketball team uh, was first place in their division. There's a lot going on at Pine Forge, and God is good. I could stand up here and talk about the academics all day. I could stand up here and talk about all of the children that I love. I have 147 babies besides the two that I gave birth to. And they have been so kind as to bless me with a beautiful nickname as Mama, so it's really exciting for me. But there's something about Pine Forge um, that I really enjoy sharing, and it is the love that these young people have for the Lord. I watch these young people come together and pray. This is not me saying to them, you need to have prayer. This is them inviting me to come and have prayer with them. That is a special thing that we don't see all the time. You're not happy about it. I know I am. 
our young people are not just out there academically leading, but they are spiritual leaders and they are changing the face of what our church looks like right now. I am a retired Seventh-day Adventist minister's daughter and a retired Seventh-day Adventist educator's daughter. And my parents used to always say that children were the face of the church and the face, the children of the future, the church of the future. But our children are the face and the church of today. And Pine Forge is training them. Here's what I want you to take away because I have an alumni president who has really good news to share with you. Not just the fact that Pine Forge is still blessed and still doing great work, but that the Lord is coming soon because our young people are in the streets doing his work so that he can, we can hasten his coming. And that, above all things, is most important. Before I take my seat, those of you who are alumni, I see you with your sweaters on, I see you with shirts on, I see you with all those things on. We will sing again together later on. Don't forget your song. It's important to us, we love it. We can't wait to be able to sing with you. If you have a child you want to send to Pine Forge, see me. If you can't send a child and you wanna pray for a child, pray for us, we need your prayers. If you don't have a child, but you know that there's one that needs to be at Pine Forge and you want to sponsor one, please see me. There is a work still to be done, and we need you to help us do it. Thank you. Has everyone been blessed so far? Let's give the choir a hand. I don't know that I can remember all of those songs and the notes to hit and all of that, for the hour that they were up there. I think they're pretty fantastic. And the young lady that gave uh, the poem from her heart, I, this is, the, I think, the third time I've heard it. They are amazing. Let's give them another hand. Thank you, Adrian, for telling us more about what is going on in the school um, right now. And God is blessing, blessing, blessing Pine Forge Academy. And I want to thank, first of all, the Atlanta area, which is has a large population of uh, Pine Forge graduates. So we wanna thank the Atlanta area for your support, both financially, your prayers, and sending your students to Pine Forge Academy. And so if you are an alumnus of Pine Forge Academy, I want you to stand. If you graduated or you went to Pine Forge, please stand. Ms. Fryson, I didn't know you were an alum. My, my, the gentleman to my left, your right, he graduated in 1951, am I right? 55, amen. Anybody that graduated before then, 55? Oh, you're the oldest, all right, he says I'm the oldest. Well, Pine Forge has been doing a great work for the um, Adventist Church for over 74 years and God is continuing to bless through the Alumni Association, and I wanted to talk specifically about a few things that are happening right now. Um, just recently, because it takes the Alumni Association to continue to improve the health of the school. Uh, and I would say that for all of the Adventist schools. Are, are there anybody from Northeastern Academy in here? Former Northeastern Academy, yep. Is there anybody from um, GAAA? Yes, yes. Are there any other uh, black academies in, uh, represented here? Who? Berean Junior Academy, okay. All right, GAAA, Berean Junior Academy. Any other, did I miss? Oakwood, Oakwood Academy, yes. Anybody in here from Oakwood Academy? So a lot of times what we do is after the concerts or after Pine Forge comes to the location, we go play a basketball game and then we, suddenly become enemies. We suddenly become on the opposite sides and we, you know, hate each other. But what I, want to what I want us to realize is that Pine Forge Academy is one of four, how many did I say? One of four black African-American boarding academies in the United States. And what's bigger is about in the 50s and the 60s, there were over 100 in existence. And so Pine Forge Academy is a jewel to Adventism, would you agree? And so it's not an Allegheny East school, it's not a, as, um, as GAAA is a South Atlantic school, 
Pine Forge Academy is a jewel for all black Adventism. Can I get an amen? amen. And so we all need what, to do what we can to support and make sure that Pine Forge is here for generations to come. And so here are some of the things that the association has done recently. So if you know Pine Forge's history, the campus has been, or the, the, the ground has been in place since the 1700s and continually been a place where even back then, slaves went on the Underground Railroad, and, it, and, and, and that was a termination point. And so for many, many years, Pine Forge Academy has been a place where students and young people can go and, 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 um, and be educated. And so for that, I want to talk about a few things. There is a building on, its camp on the campus called North Hall. Does anybody know about North Hall? Well, it was there many, many um, centuries ago, uh, more than 100 years ago, if I'm correct. And that building was just renovated to the tune of $100,000. And that was for an alumnus donated the money for that, for that building to be renovated. And so that, that building is where the, um, the choir uh, practices. Additionally, the chemistry and the biology department just received a $100,000 donation from Adventist Healthcare. Adventist Healthcare in uh, Maryland to bolster, to bolster the, um, the chemistry lab will be renovated and the uh, biology departments. Not to mention in December we raised, the Alumni Association raised over 150,000 to the chemistry lab as well. And so God has been doing great and mighty things for Pine Forge Academy. Now there's something because many of you gave your dollars and your $10 and your $20 during the offering but I want to give you all the cash app because somebody came and said, oh, I wish I had I'd been able to give. But here's your opportunity. So the cash app is um, dollar sign, I'm told, NPFAAA, which is National uh, uh, Pine Forge Academy Alumni Asso Association. So we ask that you pull out your cash app because everybody have them, right? Amen. And we ask that you would uh, put in the... Um, in the little box below, Pine Forge Academy Choir to support them. You all know it costs a lot of money for them to get here? It costs thousands of dollars, and so we want to support them. So dollar sign NPFAAA. The last thing I want to do is thank uh, Helen Murphy and uh, Phyllis Pelote for their work downstairs. There's a green and white reception. Some people said it was only for Pine Forge alum and family, but it's for everyone. And we want to invite everyone downstairs for the Pine Forge Academy Green and White reception. So you all are all uh, invited for that. Uh, come on, Tyler. So also the association has done one other thing. We've, in, we've um, partnered with Retro College and Tyler Edwards for um, Pine Forge Academy gear. I wish I had my sweatshirt on, but it wouldn't have been appropriate right now. So look, I'm going to let him talk about that for a moment. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Uh, my name is Tyler Edwards. I'm class of 1999, uh, Pine Forge, uh, Oakwood, uh, class of 08. Um, and uh, I'm just here to let you guys know we will be selling merchandise that supports your school here uh, immediately following uh, this service, uh, this concert. Uh, we, I'm set up right now. I'm in the lobby right there in the back. But we're going to go downstairs. I'm going to take everything downstairs. So if you guys want to come and take a look at a lot of the merchandise, I have some uh, Oakwood College merchandise. I have some uh, Pine Forge hoodies, T-shirts, Pine Forge on the sleeves, Academy. A lot of people will have them if you see them online. Just letting you know we have them here. We're on our third reorder of these hoodies. We sold out two times already. Just letting you know. So uh, they're very well received, and we're just, we want to go ahead and support our school and show our pride. You know, it's pretty chilly outside, so come and get your hoodie when you guys are done. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. And then lastly, I want to talk about two quick things that are, are important. And one is um, your information. So a lot of people say, what is the academy doing? What is the association doing? And you don't know. And I want you, I, I have asked for these um, information cards to be passed out. So where are they? Where are they? All right, so if you can raise your hand, I don't care if you're, an, uh, you're a graduate or not, if you're a parent or not, I want everyone to fill out the card that wants to find more information about Pine Forge Academy. 
put your um, address, um, your email, your phone, and your name on that card so we can make sure that we're communicating with everyone. So we're going to quickly pass that out. Raise your hand. Please raise your hand. It's going to take a couple seconds. All right, I see hands um, being raised all over the building. Um, and lastly, I wanted to talk to about... Alumni Weekend, which is coming up at the, the last week in, um, in August, but I don't have the exact dates. But if you go to two websites, www.pfagiving.org and uh, www.pfaalumni.org, you can find out more information about the association. I just want to thank um, you guys for uh, coming out tonight and supporting both the academy and the association. God bless you. By the way, the cards you can bring downstairs and we'll be accepting them downstairs at the green and white reception.
I hope you all don't mind. That was just a little culture celebration. Um, okay, soapbox for a minute. I just always feel it necessary to celebrate every aspect of the culture that God put into my veins. Um, and that was a song, um, Sifuni Mungu, uh, translated in Swahili dialect to mean, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. This next selection that we want to do for you is a good old Negro spiritual, but it's in a form you may not have heard before. And uh, we're going to have a little fun with that, if that's all right. This is Elijah Rock.
that the blood still works. It reaches to the highest mountain and flows to the lowest valley. Take your time, Rosebud. That blood that Jesus shed for me, way back on Calvary, will never lose its power.
Alpha and Omega, just lift that with us. You
this hymn that's on my heart after we sing that it says all to Jesus anything you need to surrender to him, just sing it. be honest, I can't, at this point in my life, I can't even talk much about this song. Um, but I can, I can leave you with these words to its chorus. The chorus of the song simply says this. It says, I do not know how long it will be. Nor what the future holds for me. But this I know, if Jesus leads me,
had to stop and put my shoes back on. I tried to throw them at people. God is good. I shall get home someday. It has been a blessing to be with you on this evening. These young people are whipped and beat. But God is good. I'd like for you to stand with us. This evening, I know there are several things that are happening, so if we'll stand and um, we'll say the benediction, and those of you who are Pine Forge alum, Pine Forge family, you'll come up with us and share a moment with us. We can't wait to have it. I was guided by my brother to remind you that there are CDs available our young people did a wonderful job last year with a recording project. And so we'd like to share that moment with you. If you'll bow your heads with me. Father, again, it is always a privilege and a pleasure to be able to come together and praise your name. We are thankful for the gift of music. We're thankful for the gift of young people. But Father, we can't wait for you to come. The idea of beams of heaven brings us just that special hope that you are soon coming and we'll see our loved ones again. So take us from this place, but not from your presence. Forgive us for our sins, God. And when you send your son, Please save us. In Jesus' name, amen. If you'll be seated, please, Pine Forge alum, if you'll join us very quickly. We have a song yet to sing together. Come on, you have to sing your school song. Don't act like you don't know. Don't forget there is the green and white reception downstairs immediately following for everyone. We want to see all of you. Come on, I see you. Come on, come on. Pay tuition every month, amen. <laughs> <laughs>